one evidence form coming up. I don't have any. Kelsey Gardner, age 21. Born and raised in White Rock, New Mexico. Moved to Boston to attend Berklee College of Music, majoring in performance and composition. Dropped out in the middle of her junior year. Last known address is in Dorchester. Reported missing by her parents last June after a few weeks of not hearing from her. Last seen entering her apartment by neighbors two weeks prior on May 30th. Worked at a nearby coffee shop. Didn't report for any shifts after May 30th. She was suffering from financial issues at the time. Circumstantial evidence suggests she may have run away. Everyone on this list was musically inclined in some way. I need to find out more about Kelsey to figure out where she might have taken Sully. The Dean of Students at Berkeley is a good place to start, and her landlord can probably let me into her old apartment. I don't need to request any evidence right now. Let's see what this gets me. What's wrong? You look out of sorts. I don't know what I'm going to do! We've got missing evidence. I think it was that woman who took Sully. What did she steal? Evidence from the Wise Monkey case. We had four charms from the crime scene, but three of them are gone now. And I've got these forms to take to McAdams, and oh shoot! Just breathe. I need the charms that are in evidence for the Wise Monkey case. Thanks to that thief, I've only got one. Fill out the form and it's all yours. I hope it helps you catch that awful woman. Here's the form. Okay. Hang tight for a minute. Hope that helps. It will. Thank you. I've done everything I can from here. Time to hit the street. You must be Special Agent Reed. I am. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me, Dean Chapman. Of course. Now, how can I help you? I need some information on a former student. Kelsey Gardner? Kelsey Gardner. Oh, yes, the missing girl. Has she been found? Not exactly. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, what can I do to help, Agent? Keeps his desk neat. Inbox, some blank office of the Dean stationery.
This is not going... Dean Chapman? Hello, Agent Reed. Tell me about yourself. Well, I've been the Dean of Students at Berkeley for the last five years. Uh, before that, I was a professor here. I taught in the strings department, as well as some composition courses. How much interaction do you get with the students now? Well, I make the effort to meet all of them at the very least. I still teach one course a semester as well, and of course a few students do their work study in the offices here. What can you tell me about Kelsey? Um, not much, I'm afraid. I try to get to know every student, but with so many of them, it's hard to know some more than passingly. Uh, she was brought to my attention while the police investigated her disappearance. Asking why she dropped out? Yes, uh, financial problems are a real shame. She lost her merit scholarship after two years. Her grades dropped, and uh, then she dropped out during her junior year. Why not try to get a student loan? Uh, I'm not sure. I think she uh, tried, but she wasn't able to get one. Then what happened to her? Uh, I'm not sure, I'm afraid. Why did she have so much trouble getting a loan? Well, you'd have to uh, talk to a creditor for those details, but uh, it's always an unfortunate situation. Mm, college doesn't come cheap. No, it doesn't, but the college has costs to cover as well. No magic wand to wave, as it were. What about her family? They couldn't pay? Well, I don't know what her family's situation was. What classes did Kelsey take? Uh, most of her classes were in performance and composition, specifically singing. Did she ever take any classes with you? Uh, oh yeah, she took one of my composition classes. So you must have known her from that. Those classes are rather large, you must understand. Uh, now that I think about it, I do remember her being in my class, though she wasn't the most involved student. I'd also like to ask you about two other Berkeley students. There were recent murder victims. Oh, yes, of course. Has progress been made in either of their cases? We believe they were the victims of the same killer. Actually, I'm pursuing the possibility that Kelsey Gardner killed them both. I need to know if there was any connection beyond them all going to school here. You... you really think she might have killed them? Kelsey? My God, I would have never thought. You said you didn't know her very well. I... well, uh, no, but uh, I'd be shocked to hear that about any of our students. I'll help you however I can. Luke Jensen was a recent graduate. Do you know if he and Kelsey had any classes together, or if they were friends? Well, I'll check our student records. Uh, no classes together. They didn't live in any of the same dorms. Uh, oh, here we are. It looks like Kelsey was tutored by Luke in her freshman year in composition. Were those one-on-one -on -one sessions? Uh, probably. Small group sessions at most. How did she do in the class? Uh, she got a B that semester, but in later composition courses, her grades fell. Her last grade in that subject was a D. Mm, sounds like the lessons didn't stick. Colleen Lavery was still a student here. What can you tell me about her? A bright young woman, very talented singer. Her death was truly tragic, and what was done to her was just awful. Any connection between her and Kelsey? Uh, no classes together, uh, hmm. uh, the merit scholarship that Kelsey lost was awarded to Colleen the next year. Would Kelsey have known this? Well, it's possible. Some scholarships announce whom they've been awarded to. Did Kelsey have any friends I could talk to? Uh, I don't know what her social circle was, but I could put you in touch with her old roommate. I'd appreciate that. Homelin, uh, could you please contact the former roommate of Kelsey Gardner? Uh, Agent Reed would like to speak with her. Certainly, sir. I'll have her information ready for when Agent Reed is done. Those are all the questions I have for now. Can you think of anything else I should know about Kelsey or either of the victims? Uh, no. That's all I can think of. If you think of anything, contact me. Thank you for your time, Dean Chapman. Yes, of course. Uh, good luck, Agent Reed.
She's not home. I left my card and told her to text me when she's home. She's not home. I left my card and told her to text me when she's home. The landlord said her parents are paying the rent through the end of Kelsey's lease. Looks like they came by to pick up at some point. Kind of weird that they'd leave the place looking so... lived in, yet... abandoned. Screw it, I'm opening this thing. Puzzle box? This is not going... That won't work. This is not... Damn it, I hate these things. There's always some trick, but what is it? Who would send a puzzle box here and address it to Sully? Dear Kelsey, we miss you so much, sweetheart. We just want to know you're safe. We wanted you to have a place to come back to from wherever it is you've gone. Please call us as soon as you can if you find this. Love always, Mom and Dad. <sighs> Talk about depressing. I'll just see a dozen other people failing. I need to see it open successfully. I can't see anything. Damn it. That won't work there. There's no disc to play. There's no disc to play. Erica, good morning. Not much good about it. Oh, indeed. Dear, you look a mess. What happened? Come tell me about it. And now I'm trying to find Sully before something worse happens. That's quite a terrible thing. I'm so sorry for your loss, my dear. And if I can help you find your young man, don't you hesitate to say. Thanks, Rose. I'm not planning to turn down any help on this one. This is not going. This is not. This is not. Hey, Rose. Hello, my dear. I've been having an easier time with my powers. Well. Except for what happened at the Old South Meeting House. What happened there? I'm not sure. 
I was running at the killer, and suddenly I started getting flashes, seeing and hearing things without trying to. I couldn't control it or focus, and... That's when the killer took the shot and killed Davies. That's awful. But whose memory is it? That's the thing. I don't know. It feels like it's mine, but it's not a memory. It's like it hasn't happened yet. Odd indeed. But sometimes these powers we have expand without warning. I could try to help you focus on it to learn more. Maybe another time. I can't right now. You said you've met people like me before. How many others? More than you might think. I have spent many years looking for other Scions, and that search has taken me to many places. Oh, I'd be interested to hear more about that, but I don't have time for a life story right now. Another time, then. So are you and John... you know? Oh, no, no, my dear. John is a good man, but not the man for me, nor am I the woman for him. <gasps> no, I am a woman of certain faiths, and John, oh, as I said, he's a good man, but not a man of faith. He believed me when I told him what I could do, and that sounds even crazier than a lot of religious stuff. Of course he did, my dear. I did not mean that he does not have faith, and in you, he has no doubts at all. So, about regression. Use it to access other people's minds and help them remember details to make them clear. Okay. This is very... So what is it that I need to do to use that projection trick you taught me? Focus on three things in the room that are related to the incident... I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. She's not home. Dean Chapman? Hello, Agent Reed. AFK. Terence must be working the crime scene at the Old South Meeting Hall. AFK. Terence must be working the crime scene at the Old South Meeting Hall. Agent Reed, how can I help you? I wanted to say goodbye to Davies. Everything happened so fast I didn't have a chance before. You know my rules, Agent Reed. No contamination and no private visits before I've finished my work. Right. The autopsy report must be happening soon. I have paperwork to take care of. Sorry to interrupt.
McCoy? Red? So, McAdams hasn't changed a bit. How long do you think he'll stay? Probably just until Davies' murder is solved. He's better suited to D.C. Well, considering how fast he got out of here after Scott died, I think he agrees. So why fill in up here? The top brass says go, you don't ask questions. All right, you do, but McAdams doesn't, even if he doesn't like the assignment. Besides, he knew Davies for years. He wants to bring in her killer. You almost make him sound like a half-decent guy. He doesn't have your spirit, Skippy, but that doesn't make him a bad person. Try not to piss him off too much, huh? <laughs> no promises. Are you yeah, I'll let you know if we learn anything new, Erica. You found her. That's more than anyone else here could manage. Found her too late. I'm gonna put everything I got into finding Sully. But McAdams really pisses me off. Join the club. Look, Davies was his friend too. You're not the only one who wants to find this asshole. Here's the prime suspect for Wise Monkey, a 21-year-old college dropout named Kelsey Gardner. It looks like the murders have been about revenge. Think she might have found out he was on her case? She must have, but who knows how. He's been on it for barely a week. The tough part's gonna be finding her. I've got an old address, but she hasn't been seen in almost five months. Maybe someone she knew back at school will know where to find her. What do you know about the Wise Monkey case? Sully was working it, and now he's part of it? Yeah, and I'd like to fix that, so a little help here? Same as you, Red. I know what's on the file. If you're looking for where to start, check out his desk. He's probably got some notes that maybe didn't get on the database yet. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. Rose has been a huge help. I'm glad I was wrong about her. Looks like Rose put out a stack of Ouija boards. While I can now admit there are some supernatural things in the world, I still refuse to believe that Parker Brothers has harnessed the spirits of the dead. Hey, Rose. Hello, my dear. I'm gonna... Goodbye. This is not... This is not going to work.
Damn it, I hate these things. There's always some trick. But what is it? This is not... This is not... I don't want to... That won't... This is not... That won't work. That won't work. Dear Kelsey, we miss you so much, sweetheart. We just want to know you're safe. We wanted you to have a place to come back to from wherever it is you've gone. Please call us as soon as you can if you find this. Love always. Mom and Dad. <sighs> Talk about depressing. DJ Abhorrent. DJ Abhorrent. Pick up anything that isn't nailed down, right? An empty envelope from Kelsey's place. Who the hell put that here? I can't see anything. Damn it. That won't work. That won't. A silver charm shaped like a bell. Dean Chapman. Hello, Agent Reed. Rose has been a huge help. I'm glad I was wrong about her. My buddy, Terrence, from Forensics. I don't need to look at my calendar right now. This is such a good game. No time to play, unfortunately. And I just downloaded episode 5. This is such a good game. No time to play, unfortunately. And I just downloaded episode 5. This is not... <laughs> that 
that won't work. She's not home. This is not going. That won't. This is not. And I'll write your name.